Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today in the presence of these witnesses to join together and celebrate reverently, joyously, and solemnly what Kevart has achieved in its nine years of existence and for what yet can be achieved. We are here to honor Kevart, its retiring principles, Dikran Abrahamian and Jirak Tutunjan, and to celebrate the concept of independent media. We are here to launch Kevart 3, a volume of editorials penned for Kevart in the last year. We are here to enjoy the camaraderie of dear old friends and like-minded people. And we are here to ensure Kevart's future survival by asking friends to support independent media. A friend once told me it isn't practical to be idealistic in today's world. I disagree, saying we must always strive for the ideal, even if we continually fall short. Kevart sought to do just that, to strive for the ideal when it came to reporting about the Armenian reality as an autonomous, nonpartisan journalistic entity. Before we formally begin the program, let's enjoy our lunch and good company, and then our guest speakers will inform and entertain us. <coughs> we will also formally dedicate, with a wine blessing, the third volume of Kellart Editorials. A book signing will follow. As we later begin the program portion, please feel free to continue eating, but do try to refrain from speaking so that we can hear the speakers. Thank you. My relationship with the three guest speakers began in 2007. I was so impressed with Kevart that this marked the beginning of a long and fruitful collaboration with Dikan and Girard. I would become a regular contributor to an online magazine that was autonomous, non-aligned, and ethically and professionally run. Upon conversing with Dikan, and this is only over the internet over the course of nine years, I pictured him as a historian, a seasoned newspaperman, a guidance counselor, an Armenian patriot, and an activist organizer focal point of social activity all rolled into one. Well, it turns out that Dikran has been all of these things in one way or another. All of these positions require dedication, diligence, sensitivity, discernment, and precision. Dikran has these attributes in abundance. Anyone who has worked with him knows how much of his heart and soul was poured into Kevart. As he sought to turn out a problem that was timely, urgent, and even whistleblowing when necessary, candid, reflective of, and suited to our times, responsive to readers, attractively designed, and user-friendly. With the Kevart board staff and contributors, he can accomplish all this and more. His publishing experience began in the 50s when he helped launch his school newsletter at the AGBU Babagimian Manugyan Boys Secondary School in Beirut. He also contributed to his high school's quarterly publication. While studying at the American University of Beirut, Dikran wrote articles about social issues, issues for the Harach publication. Starting with his teaching stint at the Armenian Community School Keborko in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, Dikran applied his many eyewitness experiences to his writings, an attribute that has stuck with him to this day as he continues to be an intrepid world traveler and avid follower of current events. By the 70s, Dikran was studying medicine in Yerevan. While belonging to the underground group Khampad, he wrote many articles on political and social issues. 
Many of Dikan's Khumpav contemporaries went on to establish the now defunct Armenian International Magazine. In 1981, Dikan moved to Canada, where he has resided ever since. Occupied with his residency, fellowship, and medical career, he went on hiatus from journalistic endeavors. In 2007, that all changed when Dikan launched Kehart, which is the Armenian word for spear or lance. Initially, to introduce human rights and Armenian issues to a non-Armenian community in Canada. As circumstances became more dire in Armenia and the diaspora, Dikan adhered to the adage, why put out blazes elsewhere when your own backyard is on fire, and turned Kehart's gaze on Armenian issues for an Armenian audience as well. Dikan's wife Shirley is with us today. Her unstinting support, along with that of the Abrahamian children and Sevan, Naidi, and Destiny, has been essential to Kevart's success. Our thanks to them all, and with that, we give you Dikan Abraham.